Hello friends, in the last video, we have discussed about the oxygen dissociation curve. Now, we are going to discuss the new topic that is the electrical synapse. Synapse is defined as a junction between one or more neurons. However, if the junction is present between the neuron and the muscle, it is called as the neuromuscular junction. Neurons except those that are present at electrical synapses are separated from each other by a distance of 20 to 30 nanometer. The space that separates neurons from each other is called as synaptic cleft. Synaptic transmission is the rapid and transient change which is either excitatory or inhibitory exerted by a presynaptic signal usually the action potential on the post synaptic cell. Synaptic plasticity is defined as an ability of a synaptic actions to change the functional properties of the synapse. Synaptic plasticity is exploited in development, learning, memory, etc. Synapses may be electrical or chemical, excitatory or inhibitory, slow or fast, can mediate the transmission or modulate the synaptic plasticity. Electrical synapses. These are the synapses in which action potential or electric current flows directly from one cell onto the another cell. Electrical synapses lack synaptic delay. That is the time taken by the electric current to move from one cell onto the another cell. Most electrical synapses are bidirectional. That is, current can flow in either direction except rectifying synapses present between the lateral giant axon and the giant motor neuron of crayfish in which current flow is unidirectional and are non-polar. That is, there is no concept like pre and post synaptic neurons. These are present in regions where speed of conduction and synchronization between multiple cells is essential. The two cells at electrical synapses are connected through gap junctions in such a way that the two cells are electrically and metabolically coupled. The metabolic coupling is of particular importance to avascular tissues like lens and epidermis of the skin. There is a slight decrease in the intensity of current due to low resistance at gap junctions in electrical synapses. Electrical synapses differ in strength. The strength of synapse is directly proportional to the area of gap junction and vice versa. The cells in electrical synapse are separated by a small distance of 3.5 nanometer against the 20 to 30 nanometer present between the chemical synapses. This small space is bridged by a regular array of channels called conic zones. Each conic zone is a hexamer of conexin proteins that make a small 2 nanometer aqueous pore called annulus through which ions and small molecules that is smaller than 1000 daltons like cyclic AMP inositol phosphates, ATP, amino acids, sugar phosphates, coenzymes, calcium ions, monomers, tracers and dyes pass. There are 21 different connexins that are subdivided into three subfamilies that is alpha, beta and gamma in humans. The molecular weight of connexin varies between 26,000 to 60,000 daltons. Connexins may be compatible or not. That is, for example, even though nodal tissues and cardiac myocytes are in physical contact, former has conexin 40 while latter has conexin 43 that are incompatible. As a result, there is no coupling between cardiac myocytes and the nodal tissues. Invertebrate protostomes have inexons consisting of inexins that are analogous to connexins of vertebrate gap junctions. Electrical synapses are of particular importance in escape systems of crayfish and neurons that control electric organ of the fishes like electric ray, electric ill, etc. Thank you.